A protective style doesn't have to be complicated. It just needs to protect your hair from potential friction breakage. It also needs to keep the ends of your hair tucked away and minimize daily manipulation. A protective style can give your hair a break from stormy weather conditions. And if you put sunscreen oil in your hair conditioner, your hair is protected even from sun damage. Now, they don't make your hair grow, but a protective style can help you see growth because it keeps your lovely locks safe from harm. When my natural was shorter, I lived in hair twists. I'd spritz them and keep them hydrated. I would greenhouse my hair in a twist and I still wear a twist. I also love a halo braid when I blow my hair out. This looks complicated, but it's super easy and my ends are completely safe from harm. And I'll even wet set a bun so that it looks pulled tight when it's actually gently gathered and I use gel to set it in place. But lately, I've been doing the least. <laughs> the weather has changed again, so I don't want wet hair, and I'm just going to give it a gentle blowout. Now, I'm not even going to bother straightening my hair. I just want it blown out so that it is dry. And now I'm going to do a gentle part with my wide tooth comb. And it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. I'm going to use my fingers to separate and now I'm going to use my gentle bore bristle brush and then I'll finger separate from the back into two sections. Let me gather this section up and clip it and now I'm going to take my brush and smooth it down just a little more. This is an all natural brush so that it's not going to be too rough on my hair. And instead of starting my braid at my scalp, I start it at my gather and it is a just big sectional three strand braid. And we can speed this up a little bit. You get the idea. It's just section over section, strand over strand until I get to the bottom. And I don't even do it very tight on the bottom. So now let's get to this side. Same exact thing. Give it a brush to smooth it out. And I gather not from the roots of my hair, but at the point where the three sections gather. I hope that makes sense. And simple three strand braid. I want them to be about the same length or same part in my hair. So by starting not at my scalp, but at the point where they all meet is much easier. And again, oh, loose strand there. I'm not going to try and get the two ends all together. So now that I have my two strands, I have two perfectly intact bobby pins. You don't want those bobby pins where the metal's exposed or it's going to hurt. And I'm just going to pull the one braid in and pin it. I tuck my ends inside of my hair and then I do the same thing on the other side. And I pin that side and tucking the ends inside of my hair, making sure my ears are exposed and I'm done. Now this will last, believe it or not, until my next wash day. So the next day, I make sure my hair is protected at night. And when I take my bonnet off, all I have to do is smooth it with my hands, done. And day three, same thing. Take my winters off, smooth it with my hands, and I'm done. And the next day is wash day. So yay, protected.